This is the screenshot from my phone. You guys can see this is legit. You got the green on the bottom. You got my name over here. Obviously, I crossed it out for privacy reasons. But you guys can see Tesla, $15,500 on the day, which is crazy because it's a Monday and I usually don't score big on Mondays. But today's move on Tesla was very fantastic. So let's get right into it. But before I begin, make sure you guys subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below. Remember, I'm picking one random comment in the comment section to win an Amazon gift card. So let's get right into it. Again, I had a few levels on Tesla. I was looking at the 780 to 800 range for the upside on Tesla today when I woke up pre-market we came down about one percent uh, from that one to two percent from that we started rejecting that 765 again I made another level I said 765 if we get above 765 we could potentially see 780 today we didn't even do that the first thing that I noticed is we came down tested around 750 came up started rejecting that 758 and came right back down i would have took 750 because on this two minute time frame it even looks better right it bounced on that 750 and they gave us a nice wick all the way back down giving us the right candle right there i would have took 750 the only problem was nq and spy there was some confusion going on with the nq and spy nq was doing his thing spy was doing his own thing nq looked like it was trying to come up while you know spy was already flying up I wanted to wait a little bit, so I decided to wait on that 750. Obviously, hindsight, it worked out, but you know, I stuck to my plans and I stayed disciplined. I waited. I saw another wall setting up at that 740 range. I got in at this candle right here at 740. I saw it come down very fast. Again, I wanted to wait a little bit. NQ was on a seventh or eighth red candle in a row. So I was like, all right, listen, this is probably going to be breaking before NQ gives us a green candle. But I was like, you know what? I'll get an early entry on this and just wait it out because I saw the weakness that Tesla had. And I also saw that NQ did need to pull up a little bit. I could have waited for NQ. I could have not. It didn't really matter. NQ was on a seventh red candle in a row. There's still sellers here. We got one green candle, which brought us up right here. And then after that green candle and NQ came flushing right back down, which is what I expected. So I got in right before the 740 break, waited for it a little bit until I saw sellers, started rejecting that 743. Once I started seeing that, that's when I got puts right here. And then again, it was just consolidating here. It came all the way down to 738. I did take some off when it came under that 738, but my main sell was at 736 into 735. I was waiting for 735 to break. I got a little bit impatient because I did enter here, waited for a little bit. My stop loss was at 743 and then it came down again, made that new low. When it made that new low and came under 736, came into 735, I was waiting for that 735 break, but then I sold most as I was getting to that 735 range just because there is a potential for a bounce because there was a wall there, but I was going to sell the rest at 735. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to because when I sold it at 736 and it came down even more, it bounced at 735. So when we opened up here, we opened up the next candle and we were already back at 737. So I decided to sell. It wasn't really worth it to me to um, keep holding just because we could just keep going back up again and bounce out to 735 because we were already overextended as it was. This trade right here was around a 20 to 25% move. Not bad at all, especially on a Monday. Not bad whatsoever. Just because something happened later on that you thought it was going to happen, like you were going to wait for 735, just because it happened in the future, Again, if you just stay disciplined, you might miss some moves, but for the most part, it will allow you to let the winners run and cut your losers short. Because if you're like, oh, I, I should have held some more, what if this candle just kept going up, right? What if we just kept going up above 740, 743, and now your green train turned red, right? So this is why discipline is so important when it comes to trading. My plan was to get out if it, you know, I start to see some bouncing action at the 735. It wasn't worth it for me to hold it much longer. If it was gonna break, it would have broke there. If it didn't, then I'm planning to get out if it starts bouncing. I saw buyers at 735 for a little bit. That's when I got out. So, you know, again, hindsight, it worked if I held, but look at the times that if you held, it didn't work a lot of the times, right? So that's why it's super important just to stay disciplined and have your plan every single time. Other than that, that was a trade that yielded me 15,500 on the day. Remember, I live trade every single morning as well as post my watch list, all the levels that I'm looking at, all the trades I'm getting into, everything that I'm doing is posted in my Discord chat. And I also do three to five lessons per week to educate traders on how to actually trade. If you guys want access to that, just DM me on Instagram or you guys can just sign up with the link in the bio. If you guys DM me on Instagram about it though, I might give you a special discount. We'll see. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, yo, Rand, turn that up.